Hey guys, uh, Braden here with the uh, Anvil and Arrow Forge. I just picked up this tube steel and flat bar today. Three inch by uh, three by three by three, da -da -da. Um, by quarter inch, eight foot. And this is going to be made into my 20 ton press that will be powered by as soon as I get the shot back out of the way this 20 ton uh, air over hydraulic hydraulic over air jack and this little baby right here so this is the first video of uh, the installment of making the press. A lot of welding, some drilling. Should be cool though. Alright, peace out. I'll be right back. Alright, um, I'm back. I got some steel cut and measured out. Um, I got this ground so I can weld this front plate to it and then I'll weld a back plate and that's going to be the part that connects into the upright on the top so that's going to be fixed. Uh, I'll get back to you after I get done welding it. Okay, I just got through welding up basically what's going to be the uh, top and over here the bottom or that's the top right here and bottom jaw oh no it's really popular there i got to clean up some welds a little bit with the grinder but uh solid as here all right, well, got some more cutting and drilling and bolting to do then, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, I got the uh, uprights all cut, and everything's all squared up. This thing ain't going to be welded to this, because it's going to slide up and down. The top is going to be fixed, and then bolted here here, there, and there for extra stability. And yeah, one step at a time, and then uh, I'll build the base. Be right back. One thing I wanted to touch on, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but when I'm cutting square steel, and I've got it all marked out. I like to, uh, Cut off four of the corners first. That way, all I gotta do is connect the lines and get a nice square cut. Because I'm just using a uh, cutting wheel here, so. But, anyway, moving right along. 